I wanted to make something to hold all the pieces to this game he really likes, Agricola. And he realized that if he just changes some things, he can finally make the coffin shelf I've been thinking we could make. Just a little something for little trinkets. A, because I want it on my wall. And B, because a lot of our fans have been asking for something like this. So, that might be in the future. Oh, so I made the boxes, but I need them to fit, so I need to make them shorter and littler so that I can close the box when it's done. Right. So make this six by six by price. I think one. Six by six by one should do it. Yeah. Put it kind of shallow in there. Yeah, we're going to go outside. We're going to go outside. I'm spending time in the garage. We're going to go outside. Stop looking so disappointed. So after I already did the, the demo ones just to prove the point of concept, but now I'm realizing I do want to wood glue the edges because it'd be much cleaner than putting nails through them, but also uh, I don't have anything to hold them at a right angle, and I've got a lot of little pieces to glue. But yeah, that's all that's all the pieces you need to assemble the boxes. Is there a tool you can get that's just a right angle holder? That yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of tools you can get that are right angle holders. How hard is that to get? I mean, it shouldn't be. I could also I could also potentially build one with the stuff I've got. <laughs> I love the idea of you building the tool to do this. Yeah. Well, it's just you know you get a piece of wood, you you rip it into a straight corner just by uh, using that and planing, so it's straight. And then uh, the only thing is is that that would be made out of wood, so I'd have to put in like a barrier between that and this, probably like wax paper or something, so mm. it could come off, and then. Yeah, so wax paper on the edges, lay them down, wood glue, clamp it together. I need, still need to clamp them. Yeah. I still need something to clamp it, and I don't have any clamps. We need clamps. clamps. <laughs> but, and, you know, I've got all the pieces, and just realizing that, um, strangely, there's a tool I don't have. Yeah. Hello. Hello. What do you think? Yeah. Now it all fits in the box. It all fits in the box. So this <coughs> is the the farmland and house chits with the food chits and the miscellaneous. And then each player's chits and then all the <coughs> What? They think they're going on a walk, so they're very, very upset that we're not walking. <coughs> yeah, all, you made it all for <coughs> Now it all fits in the box. Ta-da! Nice. Rob's coffin shelf idea has eight sides, which I don't think looks right. So let's see what I can do. ta -da! Could maybe have the top part wider. I don't know. I kind of like it just lining up with the bottom though. We need to do math for the coffin shelf, right. but I might be able to do a preliminary with that. If I built it to, if I built it to size on this one, then I should have enough wood to build a demonstration version of the coffin shelf. Oh, the so I do need to figure out the potato cabinet. I could work on the bedroom shelf. Math. Math. So I'm trying to make this easy for me to remath. So that's nine units, six units, that's six and three. So do a coffin shape. You just go from there to there, there to there, there to there, there to there. And that right. should do it. I want to make sure it looks good when it's actually like done like that. It looks like a good coffin. It doesn't look like weird or like, you yeah. know, off. But that's going to be the start of it. I'm also realizing for the, the shelves we're building, 
I've got those to the sides. So for I've the got coffins? Slice that in half, so it's because it doesn't need to be that deep, or slice it into maybe two thirds. How deep do you want it to be? You don't need it to be five inches, but maybe three inches. Are we putting the sides like this, or like this? I think like this. Yeah. Because it'll. So then, in that case, we want four. Yeah. So we just slice an inch off of this. And that is that. Nice. I feel like thicker isn't a terrible thing, though, depending on the size of the final product. No, it's just worried about because it's going to hang on a on a stud on the wall. So we want to make sure that it doesn't. I don't want to build a shelf that has the design flaw of ripping out the wall Fair because enough. you can overload it. Fair enough. I don't want to give people the impression that these things are like full build fixes. Because these are, these are kiss shelves. The shelves for your kiss. So I think we'll start, we'll start with the six cut because we only need one of those and then I'll bump it up to nine. We'll cut this one nine and then we'll cut a nine by nine out of the rest. Always drop your blade, it's a safety thing. The less exposed extra blade you have, the less chance you have of nicking it on your way by. I'm sure all these woodworking things I've explained like 75 times. But it's safety. Well, just even that, like, come, come here real quick. Okay. This is this is the thing you do on measuring. So when measuring, you don't want to center your measurement on your blade because the, the wood that hits this is going to fucking disappear. It's going to be gone. So you want it to be on the, if you want it to be exactly, you got to put it on this, you got to put your marking on this side of the blade. Then bring this in and you got to check the front of the blade to make sure it's the same. You got to check the back of the blade to make sure it's the same. And then once you crank it, you check it again because it's going to change. So that's going to be the back of the coffin shelf. Again, these aren't necessarily the scale we're going to build them at. We're just testing to make sure we have all the angles right. right. And then we can upsize, downsize. I think this is a little thick for the back. I don't necessarily think we need all that. But it will make it sturdy if we build in the hangers. Yeah. Like if we notch out and build in the metal things that the screws hang on, then that'll be a lot sturdier than a thinner shelf with just a hook on it. I back. like that idea. But it does mean it pops out more. I can use a tool I have specifically for cutting angles to cut angles into these use the same machine to build the angles in because the angles here are going to be different than the angles here because the angles here are going to be half on each side to build the full angle. Do you have the math sheets for this? I have the math sheets for these inside so I'm thinking I'm just going to bring this inside and get them all measured out and marked and that way I can come out and do the slicing just quick on mm -hmm. its own. Checking my notes about the measurements so I make sure I'll get it all marked and I'll make it easier to. Mm -hmm. So you said the coffin measurements with the coffin map? Yep. For the math. I'm going to go in. The math map. One and a half on each side here and then just connect them. Over and over. 
Forever. The and never ending furry. Yes. Pitch perfect. I came to the table, so I can sit by the table and do the thing, and then... The girls don't want me to work at the table without slight inconveniences. Supervision. Well, I think, you, yeah, six one, half a dozen the other. <laughs> and there, that's the math. Now, obviously, it's going to look different once the sides are fully on it, but we're just, gonna, we're just trying to make sure the math works right now, so... We'll cut them all along these lines. We'll build the outside of it and we'll see how it looks. We'll tweak it and then we'll make the final. So, coffin. Neighbor puppies. Neighbor puppies. I know what I'm gonna do with this. It's not gonna be a shelf, it's gonna be a little sign to put by the bar. Okay. I'm thinking poison because I kinda wanna put like a mm, yeah. Like a bottle. They can have like a skull on it. Well okay. Uh, how do you spell poison? P-O-I-S-O-N. Okay. So not... The, sometimes I screw up how to spell poison, it becomes um, the French word for fish. Poisson. Yeah. So this is my sketch, my general idea. Pick your poison. This, All right. This I might make curved a little bit. Well, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Now it looks like a cake. Do not eat. So I just kind of re-sketched this to now paint over. So it'll look slightly different in actual paint. I'm thinking the liquid will be green. Various greens. Maybe the skull will be either white or red. Maybe the label will be red. Maybe the label will be black. Label could be black and skull could be red. That's a thought. And then the words will either be red or that same green. I don't know. Okay. I am happy enough with it. I thought about touching up the white to get rid of like the sketch underneath. But I don't know. I'm gonna wait for this to dry. And then see what Rob thinks. <laughs> and then I'll either do that and fix it up the white, or I won't, and either way, the next step after that will be putting in the eye hooks. I was thinking two. Right, but do you want but do you want it to be up here, or do you want it to hide it off to the side a little bit? I don't know. Maybe off to the side. Which do you think will be more stable? Off to the side. Then, yeah. Just a little bit. So, coffin got used, not as a shelf, but as a, a neat little hangy thingy. Still working on the shelves. I want them to measure properly. Yeah. But for now, hangy thingy. Hangy thingy. Hangy thingy. A little, a little uh, platelet yeah. thing. There's a word for it. And that'll be nice signage by a bar. Yeah. And rock on. Rock on.